students. We talk about being a worldwide church, um, but often it can feel like you might be alone. Latter-day Saints working toward acceptance and understanding through the arts. The Center for Latter-day Saint Art has produced an international production of music, dance, and art based on President Russell M. Nelson's counsel to root out racism. Arts and religion specialist Carol Makita has a preview of I Am the Journey. Yvonne Baraketse leads a small group of her performers as they rehearse for a culturally diverse Latter-day Saint production. It's just also a way to um, show uh, how the different countries and cultures tying together can make a whole beautiful puzzle and a beautiful piece of humanity. I am the journey, she explains, means to declare. Yvonne was born in Africa, is both European and American now. A mother, a teacher, a Latter-day Saint. To include other people who are different than us, and that's where the understanding starts. And when there is understanding, there is peace. The production includes dancers, singers, and other performers. Each group has the opportunity to present life stories, to show how faith and cultures unite to make unique statements through art. And we talk about being a worldwide church, um, but often it can feel like you might be alone. I think that, that this kind of project builds communi community in really meaningful ways. BYU dance professors Keely Song and Corey Wakamatsu created a piece titled Striving. Their students started with movements recreating microaggressions or actions of discrimination against their ethnic minority. And then they also came up with a gesture of a microprogression when, stride, when strides were being made towards, um, towards greater equity and towards greater inclusion. When the production has ended, I wondered what these performers hope the audience members will take away from this experience. It's called Ubuntu. Ubuntu means humanity, it means oneness, it means acceptance, it means leaving the place feeling better. Sometimes there is that wall of audience to the performer and we're hoping to break that down that wall and to give the audience a chance to explore and to find within themselves their creative spark. And the creativity within the I Am project also features the visual arts. Tyrone Whitehorse, a Navajo silversmith and painter, believes we can learn from one another. We are all brothers and sisters, that we are all from the same family. But our diversity, our differences in culture, do nothing more than enrich the human race. Visual arts and performing arts come together in I Am The Journey. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. Carol, thank you. I Am The Journey performance at the Conference Center Little Theater is free, but you do need tickets. You can get them through Temple Square events. The visual arts exhibition will feature 30 different artists and is available to the public in the lobby of the Little Theater Friday through Sunday from 9 to 9. And then the exhibit moves to downtown Deseret Bookstore for several weeks.